ladies and gentlemen, uh, fans of uh, Fever FM 94.3, Radio 1 and uh, Radio Nasha. A uh, very warm welcome to 100 Hours, 100 Stars. And we have one of our uh, stars here with us, uh, Somde Devarman, ex-tennis star and multiple uh, award winners. And of course, right now, an amazing uh, fitness uh, motivation uh, icon. And uh, in addition to that, he also does a lot of philanthropy. So a very warm welcome, uh, Somdev. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Vikram. Thanks for having me on the show. It, it's always a pleasure to have you and uh, I think I'm going to just continue the conversation from the last time we spoke. Uh, I think every time you've told me about, uh, you know, you've come on the show, uh, we've spoken a little about Life is a Ball and uh, Wild Warrior Races. Uh, so I'm going to start with, uh, you know, Life is a Ball again. Uh, so one of the first things that I realized when I was when I realized that I'm going to talk to you this time was that when you told me uh, about Life is a Ball the first time, I did not question you about why you chose football over other sports because I love football. So the minute you said football, I was very happy to hear that. But why did you pick football over other sports? I mean, to be honest with you, it's just the functionality of it. You know, all you require for football is one ball. If you have a little bit of space, that's pretty much all you required. And uh, so it obviously kind of put our cost down as well. Okay. Um, because, you know, to have something like a tennis court, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot more complicated than just having, uh, you know, football. Um, so I think that was that that was probably the initial reason. And also, I mean, it's the most commonly played sport in the world. For in the world, in the world, yes. <laughs> right. You know, so when we were kind of dealing with these issues, we just figured that football would be the best place to start. And then if we grew from there, that would be a nice thing as well. All right. Uh, actually, for the, for the sake of people who are just hearing about life as a ball for the first time, uh, why don't you give us a, a quick, uh, you know, idea of what life as a ball is about? Okay. So, life as a ball is a charity that uh, I formed with a couple of my friends that I grew up with in 2011. And essentially, what we do is um, we take sports to, you know, underprivileged communities and schools. Uh, and we just provide organized sports and, and give these kids a chance to play sport and grow through sport and we do it in a, you know, we, we do it in school, after school and and, and, and the point is, uh, you know, just to get people playing sport, get interested and, you know, through that journey itself, a lot of good things will happen. So that's really what Life is a Ball is all about and we're all about promoting sport. Okay, actually, how many cities are you guys present in Life is a Ball? So, um, over the course of, a, you know, close to 10 years now, 9 years or so, We've worked in probably about 10 or 12 cities, but as of right now, we work in three cities, Hyderabad, uh, Mumbai and Chennai. Okay, uh, so now uh, that, you know, uh, 100 Hours, 100 Stars is a nationally, uh, you know, uh, national coverage oriented, uh, you know, event, uh, I would say, you know, when it comes to digital media. Uh, I wanted to know if there is a person from, let's say, uh, a tier two city or a city in which you guys haven't like you know set foot in and if he wants to associate with life as a ball is that actually possible absolutely it's possible see um so the way we look at it um we want to be a very sustainable program so one of the most important things for all of us at life as a ball is once you begin working with a program uh, you at least have a five-year goal and hmm. you commit to kind of working with those children for five years at least um, ideally, it would be longer, but you know, sometimes uh, it's it's not that easy. So I think if, if somebody is out there who's willing to commit five years to a program, um, I think then then it's a great uh, great place for us to start. Okay, so how how does he where does he begin? How does he start? Uh, just or, or she just starts. start by reaching out to me. Uh, Life is a ball. You, you know, you can find our information online. You can find uh, you can follow what we do on Instagram and. Uh, just kind of get in touch, uh, begin a conversation, and obviously, you know, there's a lot of things to iron out. I don't think it's that simple. We gotta, you know, we gotta uh, take into consideration, you know, what target group of kids we're going for. Is it a school? Is it a community? What sports do you want to do? How do you want to do it? What's the current uh, status of things in that community? You know, uh, like for example, you know, is it a community that's affected by crime? Mm -hmm. Is it a community that uh, people don't study, or you know, is it a school? So. You've got to kind of obviously address a few of those issues and every city has its own challenges. Okay. So um, once we kind of pick a place, I don't. Uh, then we see what kind of surrounding it is. And that's when we kind of progress to deciding how we want to, uh, you know, hey. put our program into that city. And, and you guys would like, obviously, you know, guide him and help him through the, these, this process, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because we've obviously done it in the past. Uh, uh, you know, in, in all the states that we work in, we always get a, a you know no objection certificate from 
the uh, the education department so it's kind of easier for us uh, to go and so we partner with the uh, uh, with with the schools in the in a sense and we partner with the uh, state education boards as well um and and then that's something we would always want to do because at the end of the day if the push comes from the highest place it's always a lot easier to move the conversation forward there's actually another thing that i wanted to ask you about soma there is you know different different people are contributing different charities like right now we have uh, qr codes around the screen uh, but you guys as tennis stars uh, you've gotten together and you've uh, you know started a charity of your own uh, could you tell us some, something more about that yeah so yeah, the so uh, initiative is called love wall and we're doing it through my charity which have uh, which has been established for almost 10 years now um and the initial feeling was we got a, uh, a couple phone calls to you know friends in the tennis community and we were discussing how you know m- many people the markers the ball kids you know really the heart and soul of tennis uh, academies or clubs anywhere you go to they've really been hit hard and and uh, you know they're really struggling through this time and for anyone who spent time you know around these places around tennis courts around clubs you know what an important part they play in kind of making sure that everything is okay so um You know, we felt like it was our responsibility to come together. So, you know, I spoke to Sanya, I spoke to Mahesh, Leander, uh, pretty much all the other anybody in the tennis community in India to kind of you know come together in an effort to reach out to a bunch of people, raise some funds, and give it all back to those who are who are really struggling right now. So, uh, you know, it's 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 our small effort of doing that, and and hopefully we can make a difference in these people's lives. very nice so is this going to you know do you have like a time frame are you going to close it at some date or is it going to go on uh, all the way till covid or corona is around how 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 have you guys uh, how have you guys uh, decided that well i think it's going to be uh, you know it's a little bit situational because uh, we right now we don't really know what to expect we don't we know that potentially it's may 3rd but we don't know that either and more importantly we don't really know when academies can open up we don't know when tournaments can happen we don't know when the next uh, sporting events going to happen or uh, you know so, so so there's a lot of stuff up in the air which which the uncertainty is what's kind of making people nervous as well um so you know obviously ideally we would like everything to start back up but mm-hmm. since we have no control over that one of the things we would want to do is continue raising funds as as long as we can and continue helping as much peop- as, as 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 much as we can as many people as we can during this time and i think if we do that to the best of our abilities we'll be playing our part all right uh, okay so now uh, getting to a little bit of a personal question uh, so you're a married man now <laughs> so how is marriage life treating you unbelievable should have done it earlier um, <laughs> so we we've, we've, we've been married for a little over a year now uh uh-huh. um and luckily for me we were uh, you know we were dating for about 5 years as well before that so um you know It, it 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 was a nice little progression and i think when we did get married i was very ready and so was she we were very ready to get married and move in and start our lives together so uh, yeah i would highly recommend it to all of my friends who are on the fence <laughs> okay so on, on the corona front i've been here i mean we've been reading uh, articles everywhere that uh, uh, you know domestic violence domestic abuse has gone up so has she started beating you up yet i mean we've had our fair share of fights but there's not been any beating <laughs> um and i think the fair share of fights is normal Like, okay. uh, I mean, I could be living in here with my brother or my mom or anybody, and I think you know, forty, fifty, sixty days in isolation with a person. It's, it's. I mean, you know, it's normal to have a few <laughs> arguments. But one of my friends actually, uh, one of my friends told me this uh, just the other day. We were discussing this, and uh, he said, you know, I think fights are normal. Fights are healthy as long as the fights are like a six out of ten. <laughs> then you're completely good to go, and like as long as they're not ten out of ten too often, I think you're good. And I think. Uh, I I I think there's some wisdom to that. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I think that is some wisdom that everybody can take a little off. Uh but yes, besides that uh on the on the corona front, uh you know, in the quarantine time, how have you guys been dealing with the quarantine? Uh what do you guys do at home? What what is the sen- scenario like? You know, um honestly the first week or 10 days was uh vacation. Vacation <laughs> from home. I mean, uh it's which is which is what it's it's felt like even now. It's been over a month and uh And then after about the first ten days, both of us wanted to get productive with our time. We both wanted to kind of do things. So um, I started playing a lot more music. I started doing a lot more live stuff. I started kind of uh, started this stuff with Life Is a Ball. Actually, we were, we started fundraising for markers and and and, and nice. people all around India who who really required help. So uh, and my wife's kind of taken a, a lead on that as well. So she's been helping with the foundation stuff. Um, and um, yeah, music for me, painting for her. 
and uh, a little bit of interviews nice. and uh, you know I'm trying to keep the tennis conversation going so honestly I I feel like I'm pretty busy but at the <laughs> same time I feel like I'm home and I feel like I'm doing things that I really enjoy so it I mean you know barring the terrible stuff that's happening we're trying to keep ourselves in the best frame of mind possible nice nice actually you know what I know if you heard of this uh, Tamil film called um, Arunachalam have you it's a rajni film I have not No. Okay. So in in the film, uh, Rajni's dad kind of catches him uh, uh, smoking one day. So the uh, the solution to that is he puts him in a room filled with cigarettes and uh, cigars and makes him smoke the entire thing, and only then he can get out of the room. And by the time he comes out, he's so done with it. He's so done with tobacco, and he's like, "No, I'm not going to smoke ever again." Uh, so similarly, that's kind of what this quarantine has done to us. It's given us all the time that we need to be lazy. So once you're done with all of it, once you're done with all the waking, all the time that you spend frivolously, and then you actually say, "Okay, where is work? Can I work now? Can somebody give me some work?" Uh, so I think all of all of us have gone through that phase in this period. Yeah, I mean, listen, either it's that. I mean, that that does make sense. Either it's that, or all of us at the end of the day are just never going to be happy with what we have. So if we have time at home, we're not happy. If we have to go to work, we're not happy. If we have to grind. So regardless, so I mean. <laughs> I mean yeah there's so many different ways of looking at it but the cool thing about this is like I feel like I feel like we're having very different conversations with our friends yeah you know I feel like I've had, like the friends that I've actually reconnected with I mean it's been really cool because you know we we get together we have you know social drinks at home or you know <laughs> we kind of catch up at home and things like that and it's it's been it's it's I mean no, no, the world has never been through something like this You know, so the stuff that's coming out is actually pretty cool. That's nice. Uh, okay, actually, on that front, um, you know, staying at home and dealing with your fitness part of it. How are you doing that? Lucky man, very lucky because we have a terrace at home. Who? Um, and since uh, you know the terrace is fairly unused, um, mm-hmm. and I actually the, in our building there's a couple of our friends who live here. Oh, okay. So, um, nice. so that makes it a lot easier. And we had a little gym, uh, but the gym was in a tiny room, so we moved everything to the terrace. And so, you know, we we we've been really lucky. We have a jump rope. We, you know, we are we were pretty much everything you need in terms of fitness. So, I, you know, it it is funny because like <laughs> that's something that like all of us are looking forward to every single day. Even if you're not working out, you just want to go and hang out upstairs, <laughs> get some fresh air. And uh, and the funny thing is, when you go to the terrace, you realize everybody else who has a terrace is doing the exact same thing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's everyone around our house. So. It's, So it's pretty cool. I I mean I didn't even uh, I'll be I'll be the first one to admit I didn't I know my neighbors much better now than I did last <laughs> one year. <laughs> That's true. You know, actually, uh, it's been a really long time since I saw a carrom board. Uh, I think it was back in school the last time I played, and then suddenly the other day I go to the terrace and one of my neighbors has brought his boat to the terrace and all the kids are sitting around there playing and I'm like, oh my god, this is what the quarantine's done to people. That's nice. <laughs> it is nice. It is nice. On the bright side, the med stores are open, so you can get some boric powder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, on the other hand, uh, talking about fitness, uh, going a step further, uh, Wild Warrior races. How is that going? Ah, uh, it's tough right now. It's mm-hmm. really, really tough. I mean, we we are, you know, online we we are having a conversation, and we we make sure we are in touch with a lot of athletes. I think there's a lot of live sessions going on on uh, on Insta and things like that. But in terms of the event, I think uh, I think any any space that has events has been hit very badly. Um, live events uh, because obviously because of you know you can't have any yeah. event where people are going to gather, right? So so uh, it's 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 a little early to speculate right now. But you know it, it seems to me that at least live sporting events with a with a with a bunch of people, it's going to be it's going to take a little time before that's that's yeah. normal. <laughs> You know, so uh, it's yeah. We 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 just have to wait and see kind of what happens, what the regulations are. It's too early to tell, but you know, we'll have to see. Very nice. Okay, and uh, actually, one one part that I missed out when I was talking about you staying at home. Uh, how how is it going in the self reflection flame? It's going, man. <laughs> it's going. You can't hide it. I don't care who you are. You can't hide it. It's. Uh, I mean. It's 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 I think necessary as well, you know. I'm 35 years old, and uh, <laughs> I'll be the first one to say that there's there's still a lot more to get out of this. You know, I know, I, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the scary part, you know. So I mean, until until the quarantine and until Corona hit, I'm thinking, okay, you know what? 
I've, I've hit 30 after it's all downhill and then suddenly you think about how short a time you have now and you're like oh my god I have so much to do I have so much to do <laughs> I know you have so much exactly and like and also clarity right you have to like you can't right. you priorities, like, priorities. <laughs> yeah you can't you, you can't lie to yourself you can't hide from yourself you can't hide from how you're feeling or what you feel about certain things or you know uh, so it's I mean Listen, I, I, I'm also, it, it's fun to be introspective sometimes, you know, and, uh, and I think this is a good time. It's a really, I mean, better time than any other to um, kind of, you know, go in that direction. I know, especially since you're spending so much time with yourself. Uh, I think it, it, your mind brings you back to that question over and over again. And I think it's, it's a good thing, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> okay. And uh, in terms of, uh, I mean, on the, on the show... Uh, I have this segment called uh, Quarantine Diaries. So where people, tell, you know, every day they tell me things that they're doing to keep themselves engaged when they have free time at home. Uh, so I've heard things all the way from I'm sorting out my music library to I'm uh, getting the neighbors, kids together and playing a game with them to all sorts of things. Uh, in fact, one person listened to the show. I, I asked them to go donate blood and she actually went and donated blood for someone, you know. Uh, so that, that was a really nice thing. I was really happy to hear that. So... Uh, something like that. What are you up to? What are you doing in your free time at home? Something new that you haven't been doing in a while? Uh, cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I've cleaned my desk like five times over and I've organized, I mean, go to my, go to my uh, clothes shelf right now. And I'm not saying I've done it alone. A lot of it was influenced by my wife. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's happened. A lot a lot of organization and cleaning, and my T-shirts and everything is in order now. And and uh, yeah, just things like that, man. It's you know a lot of things. A lot a lot of I, I think I think for me it's just organization. Okay. In, in fact, it's been a while since I visited your place, uh, so I'm actually wondering how how uh, you know it used to be a perfect man cave back then, and I wonder how how much of an influence your wife has had or had on the house right now. Well, for starters, there's a lot of flowers. I saw that. I yeah. saw that. <laughs> there's a lot of flowers and uh, uh, there's a lot more plants than I've ever had. Um, or, and, and the plants that I do have are doing well compared to the ones that I had when I was a bachelor. Uh, it feels horrible to joke about, but it's true. Um, and it's just neater. It's nicer. It's, it's nice to wake up to. It feels like home. It feels like home. <laughs> yeah. And there's always fresh food. I think that's the biggest difference. There's always fresh food in the house. <laughs> so and uh, yeah, and it's not acceptable to have dirty dishes. It's not acceptable. Yeah. Nice, nice. So the, the actual traits are coming up. Uh, you know, I, I can actually see the dirty dishes. That is one thing that people mostly don't think about when they think about bachelor houses. Uh, I don't want to talk about my house. So yeah, <laughs> let's move on. Way to avoid that one, bro. <laughs> okay. uh, but bringing you back to tennis. Uh, is is there a player right now, a young young player coming up right now, uh, that you wish was around when uh, you know you were playing, or at least in your younger days? Uh, you mean from India or globally? Anywhere, anywhere. Ah, uh, for sure. I mean, dude, the uh, the excitement in uh, global tennis is 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 huge. I think you know a lot of guys uh, that are coming on the block, Medvedev and Tsitsipas and all of these guys. I feel like. The next gen is, is breaking through, but also in India, uh, probably the most promising Indian player is Sumit Nagal. Mm -hmm. 22 years old, last year he took a, a set of Roger at, uh, at the US Open. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, the, the tennis conversation in India, I think, is going to revolve around Sumit and probably Ram Kumar. Nice. Rajesh has been doing well as well, so the singles conversation will revolve around these guys for at least the next couple of years. Nice, very nice. Uh, actually, now I have a few, uh, you know, uh, quick fire questions for you. Uh, I wouldn't give you too much time to think on them. Uh, but a very simple question, very, very simple question, yeah. Uh, the first question, I'm going to start really, really light on this, yeah. Uh, which is your favorite app? One app that you would suggest to people that is not like one of those mainstream apps, not like in Facebook or an Instagram. Something that you think that, oh, this is one app that I love. Oh wow! Uh, one app that I love. Uh, I mean, not a Twitter, right? So, uh, a running app. Oh, which one? Tra I used to use Strava. Okay. Yeah, I used to yeah. use that one because uh, it just kind of wherever you run, it makes sure. Or bike. I used to bike a lot uh, okay. around the city. I think you remember that. So uh -huh. <laughs> that, this is when I actually picked up the app. Uh, is I, you know, I was bi I biked for probably like six months around the city. And uh -huh. I had no clue how much I biked. And uh, 
So the following year, I used it and I found out I biked close to three thousand kilometers in one year. Uh, in one year, in one year, it's not that much. Okay, that's okay, okay. I, 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 I basically uh, stopped using my car. Two fifty kilometers a month. Yeah, Ab- some, so yeah, yeah, give or take, somewhere around there. That's and, uh, so Strava helped a lot with that and and biking and running. Uh, to be honest, that's still uh, about a hundred times more than what I do on a monthly basis. So yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I only pull out my cycle to go to the shop near nearby, which is like two hundred meters away. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so one offbeat musician that you would like to suggest to uh, people that are watching. One offbeat musician. Yeah. Uh, a tallest man on earth. Uh huh. Where where's he? From? Any idea? He's Swedish. Okay. Um, he's a Swedish singer-songwriter, written beautiful songs. Kind of sounds like a like an oldish Bob Dylan kind Ooh, of thing. Nice. But he's like a young guy, and he comes up with some beautiful songs. Uh, great guitar player as well. Super awesome. lyrics, and yeah, check him out for sure. Tallest man on earth. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, this is again very very simple. A film that you think everybody should watch. That is that you would tell make make people watch. Not even tell people. Good Will Hunting. Oh, nice! Give me, a, give me, a, give me a watch on five. Easy. I actually have a, um, I actually have a, a, a piece on my uh, right above my desk that, that that's a quote from Goodwill Hunting. So yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, so n- this next one is again very simple. Netflix or Prime? Netflix. <laughs> okay. So this yeah. is next. Wait till I come up with a show and it goes on Prime. <laughs> For now, it's Netflix. <laughs> or even hot stuff for that matter. It'll be the best one then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the next one is very tricky. Yeah, you gotta you know consider your options really well. Yeah. And I'm asking this, uh, knowing that you're a football fan and knowing your priorities. Okay. United or Chelsea? <laughs> oh, you really have to ask me these kind of questions. Come on, it's Man United all the way. Glory, glory. <laughs> I really had to bring that up. <laughs> okay, so now coming to food. I mean, you love food. You've spoken so much about food on the show before. Uh, but when it comes to um, you know cuisine, uh, would you go with South Indian since you've been here so long, or is it still North Indian, or would you go back to Assamese food, or is it inter- international cuisine? Uh, I mean, breakfast South Indian for sure. <laughs> That's easy. Um, uh, so good story, like. Uh, my wife's favorite place for me to take her, like our our go-to place is Murugan Idli. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we used to there's a bunch of there's a bunch of them pretty close to our house, and so um, we 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 go there for dates all the time. Oh, nice. Yeah. Dates and Murugan Idli, very nice, very interesting. Yeah. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be surprised with this. Uh, is is that uh, you know is the uh, dosa akats the auntie akka still there near your place? You've spoken about her once before. Yeah, I know yeah. dosa and pongal. Ah, yeah. <laughs> a lady who lived under our, under like very close to my house. We used to just walk uh-huh. over and get. This is, I mean, I know all of these people through uh, my bachelor days. You know, I wasn't cooking <laughs> anything. I used to wake up hungry and walk around. Uh, especially when I first moved back to Chennai about five six years ago. Yeah, but she's she should be around. But during the lockdown, we have uh, checked. Not right now. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. First- Okay, and uh, actually, yeah. So this is one thing I wanted to ask. I mean, I've been I've been talking about this to a lot of people because yeah, there's too much hype around this particular thing, and that makes me not uh, indulge in it. What do you think of Money Heist? Uh, my wife watches it a lot. Okay. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I I'm okay. I, I I've seen it, so I know the I know the um, name Tokyo and Denver and Copenhagen or something like something like that. Yeah. And the professor and Sergio, I think his name is. I have no idea. I haven't watched the show. I haven't watched a single episode. Dude, it, the, uh, I mean, it has to live up to the hype. There are a lot too many people like it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so now getting to uh, my agenda for this, uh, you know, this hour uh, is Somdev's music. I've been hearing a lot about it lately. Uh, in fact, the newspapers have started sp- uh, speaking about it. Uh, so would you would you sing for us? Play for us? Well, what, uh, should I sing uh, a, a song that I wrote, or should I sing songs that? Yeah, I want. I want to hear. I want to hear those. You wanna? Uh, I, I mean, I did write one about the uh, about like being stuck at uh, in an apocalypse. Although this is not an apocalypse. <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, I, I wrote it as a joke. Almost. Um, it's not the end of the end of the world, ladies and gentlemen. It's not. It's not the end of the world. Just to be clear, it, but 
but at the same time i kind of wrote a song like that should i play some i i have put it out on um, on instagram as well but should i play that here yes please so this is uh, a song called if i was stuck in an apocalypse uh-huh. here we go shit i got to see if i can remember it <laughs> cuz if i forget the words of my own song uh, sometimes ah uh, here we go If I was stuck in an apocalypse, what would I do? Would I hide in a corner? Would I stand my ground? Would I really choose? If I was stuck in an apocalypse, how would I be? Would those little things still bother me? Or would they all be free? Oh, I'll tell you what I'm seeking to know. Will the people come together? Will they go above and beyond till our troubles are gone? But only till our troubles are gone. If I was stuck in an apocalypse, what would I eat? Would I still be a vegan if I couldn't find anything but me? If I was stuck in an apocalypse, would I really save? Would those many that I've killed the dreams I had, would they all be wasted? Oh, I'll tell you what I'm seeking to know. Will the people come together? Will they go above and beyond till our troubles are gone? But only till our troubles are gone. You know, my thinking at some point I wanted to join. You know, I wanted, I wanted like uh, you know, uh, give my own little ad- addition to it. But I was really scared the lag would like ruin the song. So I just let it be. <laughs> there is a lag. There is definitely a, a, the tiniest bit of lag. But uh, so yeah, man. Thanks, thanks a lot, man. That was fun. But but to be fair, when you said what would I eat, I couldn't stop thinking about the Maggi, the pathetic biryani I make, the pathetic sambar I make. <laughs> Yeah, man. The man, you know that that that's the other thing. This this time has kind of brought me. So when I was a student in college, when I had like literally we had I had very little money. I lived off ramen noodles in the states. Like, I used to buy these like big old boxes of like ramen and just stock them up. And just any time in the middle of the day or night, you know that there's food at home. You know. So uh, so it's uh, yeah. And now I'm doing the same thing. Sometimes I'm I'm bored, but I don't want to make something. And yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, actually, this is there is one other question. It's not. It's not a loaded political question. Uh, it's a. It's a mere. Uh, you know, fun. Uh, you know, inquiry. If I. If I. If I should say that. Um, when I was in the northeast, uh, I was there for about a week. A week, ten days, and I noticed one thing. Almost all the other states hate Assam. Why is that? <laughs> What did you guys do to the rest of the states? I don't know, dude. First of all, I'm from Tripura. I was born. Okay. I was born in Assam. Okay. Uh, spent a lot of time there uh, as a kid. Um, but I'm from Tripura. Dad's from Tripura. Mom's from Meghalaya. So I I don't know. I don't know. That. I mean, dude, there's animosity everywhere, man. I don't know. You know. I feel like. I, but, but but the funny thing about this is um, there's animosity while you're within India. But as a person who's lived outside India. Like you know, the north, the, the the people from the north and south. There's nothing. There's nothing there. You know, everyone's happy. They're like, oh my god, you're Indian. And then when you come back here, you fight. So I've always found that funny. But uh, but yeah, that's. I feel like that's how it is. All right. Very nice. Thank you so much, so much. It was great uh, talking to you, connecting, and uh, hopefully once all of this is over, we'll meet in the studio and have like a normal conversation. <laughs> Absolutely, Vikram. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks, man. Take it easy.
Welcome to 100 Hours, 100 Stars. It's such a pleasure and I'm going to do cheers uh, with my water bottle. Cheers. And... Slow motion is like how do you feel? Chandi? ये जो स्लो मोशन जिंदगी है ये आपको कैसी लग रही है देखिए जिंदगी में रफ्तार सब कुछ नहीं रफ्तार में चीजें जो है इर्द गिर्द वो धुंधली हो जाती है कुछ दिखाई नहीं देता आदमी अंधा धुन भागता है और फिर जोर की ठोकर लगती है फिर वो संभलता है और देखता है कि आसपास लोग भी हैं भाई रिश्ते भी हैं प्यार मोहब्बत भी है सब कुछ है और काम के अलावा भी जिंदगी है तो आई थिंक ये स्लो मोशन में जो स्लो स्लो चीजें जो डी फोकस थी वो फोकस में आ रही हैं वो बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है और दूसरी बात ये है कि कोई चारा भी नहीं है तो इसको ही हमें अपना बनाना है वक्त इतना सारा है अब हाथ में कि अब वक्त की अहमियत का पता चल रहा है कि वक्त को समझने की जरूरत है तो कुल मिला के अच्छा लग रहा है एक घर में कन्फाइंड है और होना भी चाहिए इस वक्त और तरह तरह की थियरीज निकल रही है कि कोरोना वायरस कहां से निकला क्यों निकला किसने भेजा बहरहाल जिसने भी भेजा जिसने भी बनाया जो भी कंस्पिरेसी थियरी है द फैक्ट इज दैट वी हैव टू लिव विद इट और हम सबको नकाम कुछ बन के हाथ धो धो के बिल्कुल पागलों के जैसा सैनिटाइज करके मतलब इट्स बिकम एन ऑब्सेशन ना जो पहले कभी हुआ ही नहीं कोई चीज हुआ उसको सैनिटाइज कर रहे हैं सब्जी आई उसको सैनिटाइज कर रहे हैं फोन को सैनिटाइज कर रहे हैं मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि रूह को और जहनीत को दिमाग को सैनिटाइज करने की ज्यादा तो साथ साथ वो भी करते रहें सिर्फ हाथ ना धोए नहीं तो बहुत सारी चीजों से हाथ धो लेंगे जिंदगी <laughs> शिखर साहब बहुत से ऐसे लोग हैं जैसे मेरे मेरे जैसे जो जिंदगी में चाहकर भी ब्रेक नहीं ले सकते क्योंकि काम करना उनके लिए एक लग्जरी नहीं है उनकी बहुत बड़ी जरूरत है लेकिन आपने लाइफ में आप इस मुकाम पर पहुंच चुके हैं कि आप चाह थोड़ा सा ब्रेक ले सकते हैं जोन Can you recall when was the last time you took a, a break on purpose, like just staying, uh, not on a vacation, but staying in the confinement of your own home with yourself? You I think you? I, I think ये तो एक extended ही एक sabbatical है मेरे लिए क्योंकि last year or almost took a sabbatical in saying that I have done now a hell lot of work. और मुझे अब थोड़ी सी शांति की जरूरत है और मैं अब थोड़ा सा आराम करके ये सोचना चाहता हूँ यू नो अबाउट थर्टी इयर्स ऑफ कंटिन्यूसली वर्किंग डे इन एंड नाइट आउट ऑफ टेलीविजन पे जब मैं ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स तक कंटिन्यूसली था तो एवरी सिंगल डे आई वाज वर्किंग यू नो आदमी फिर परेशान हो जाता है स्टूडियो में रह रह के आदमी पहले तो दुआ मांगता है कि काम मिले फिर काम मिलता है तो काम से परेशान हो जाता है इंसान हर हाल में परेशान रहता है खुश है तो कहता है यार बहुत ज्यादा खुशी है थोड़ा गम मिल जाता तो अच्छा है गम रहता है तो कहता है खुशी चाहिए जब वो बहुत अमीर हो जाता है तो एक गरीब आदमी की जिंदगी जीना चाहता है तो वो यू नो कम के साथ वो देखना चाहता है वो ट्रेन में ट्रैवल करना चाहता है एक रिवर्स नौकरी जो होती है उसमें चला आता है तो आदमी तो कभी खुश नहीं रहता लेकिन मैं खुश था कि मैंने ब्रेक लिया क्योंकि मैंने कहा ना कि सोचने समझने के लिए और महसूस करने के लिए वो वक्त बहुत जरूरी है लाइफ बहुत बहुत जरूरी तो वो वो इतमान जो मुझे आया मैं काम कर रहा था मैंने और आम दू मैं प्ले उसके लिए बहुत मेहनत की जरूरत होती है आई एम वर्किंग ऑन माय सेकंड प्ले माय शो इट्स एट एवरीथिंग पर मैं स्टूडियो में उतना नहीं था या जितना मैं अक्सर हुआ करता था एंड दैट वॉज वेरी दैट हैड अ वेरी कामिंग इफेक्ट ऑन मी यू नो बिकॉज योर नर्व आर फ्रेड एब्सोलूटली फ्रेजल्ड एंड जब आप स्टूडियो में होते हैं इतना प्रेशर होता है दुनिया भर का सो You know, there was this uh, uh, proposal of doing moves and shakers. So I said, "Brother, stay here." Now, because that day night is such a problem, every day you know you curate, curate news, you are writers with each other. I said, "Brother, stay here." You are sitting here. But yes, that was the last year. I took 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 the last year. तो अच्छा लगा शिखर साहब वट आर दैट सिंपल जॉयज ऑफ लाइफ लाइक सिंपल जॉयज ऑफ लाइफ लेट्स टॉक इन करंट टाइम्स लाइक इन करंट टाइम दैट यू यू इंजॉय सिंपल थिंग्स दैट यू डू तो आपको बताता हूँ सिंपल जॉय है मेरी माँ यहाँ है मैं उनको पटना से ले आया हूँ फादर पास्ट हुए आपका 
मतलब आप नहीं रह सकते हैं आपको मेरे साथ चलना वो जिद कर रही थी नो हाउ दे आर दे गॉट देर ईगो लाइक आप किसी पर बोझ नहीं बनना चाहते आप बोझ बोझ कुछ नहीं आप हमारे साथ रहिए हमें भी आपकी जरूरत है बल्कि हमें आपकी ज्यादा जरूरत है यू नो बुजुर्गों के साय में जब आदमी पलता है जब उनका आशीर्वाद रहता है तो जिंदगी कुछ एक अलग दिशा में जाती है तो ये छोटी छोटी खुशी है कि उनके साथ बैठ के या उनके पाँव के पास बैठ के उनका थोड़ा पाँव दबा देना या पूछना कि आप क्या खाना चाहेंगे उनके लिए जाके वो बनाना खाना रोज मैं उनके लिए नाश्ता बनाता हूँ खाना बनाता हूँ एंड वेन शी से बहुत बढ़िया बनाया तो आप समझ सकते हैं उससे मुझे कितनी खुशी मिलती है क्योंकि जिंदगी भर उन्होंने मुझे खिलाया अब वक्त है कि बेटा उनको खिलाए बेटे के साथ बैठ के ऊनो खेल लिया या लूडो खेल लिया लड़ लिए झगड़ लिए टिकटॉक बना रहे हैं उनके साथ आई शूट आई गिव कॉन्सेप्ट एवरीथिंग थोड़ा फ्रीकआउट होता है गिटार का सेशन है मेरा हारमोनियम बजाता हूँ रियाज ये छोटी छोटी खुशियां हैं लाइक कुकिंग लाइक जिमिंग टूगेदर है ना थोड़ा लड़ना झगड़ना डिसग्रीमेंट माई वाइफ कहती है नॉट क्लीनिंग योर क्लॉजेट आप टेलिंग यू पूरा घर साफ हो चुका है अब मैं तुमको साफ कर दूंगा कल भी मैंने कहा कि वाइफ और वाई फाई के पीछे फंसा हुआ हूँ तुमको इंस्ट्रक्शन आते रहते हैं ये नहीं करते हो तुम वो नहीं करते हो तुम पला नहीं डिमका नहीं तो मैं वो आई थिंक वो उनमें खुशियां बहुत छुपी हुई है सारी ये छोटी छोटी खुशियां हैं मैं समझता हूँ कि खुशियां जो है सबसे ज्यादा जो है वो रिश्तों के साथ इंसानी रिश्तों के साथ अपने बेटे के साथ बेटी के साथ माँ बाप पत्नी दोस्तों के साथ कल मेरे घर में टमाटर खत्म हो गया जब मैं बना रहा था रात को कहीं जाने का नहीं था तो आई कॉल्ड ऑफ वन माई फ्रेंड्स एंड आई सेट ही सेट कुछ सब कुछ ठीक है कुछ चाहिए मैंने कहा टमाटर सो ही स्टार्टेड लाफिंग ही सेट यू एक्चुअली कॉल मी फॉर टोमेटो आई सेट येस वो बेचारा अपनी गाड़ी लेके दीपक जी नाम उनका दीपक प्रजापति वो आए गाड़ी लेके मेरे घर के गेट पे और हम टमाटर लेने फिर उनसे गए उसमें जो खुशी मिली यू नो कि दैट वॉज अमेजिंग यू नो गाड़ी नीचे जाके चला लेता हूँ राउंड कर लेता घर के अंदर गोल गोल घुमा लेता हूँ उसको साफ कर लेता हूँ ऑल ऑफ दैट आई थिंक डिस्कार्डिंग योर ओल्ड स्टफ जो हम जिससे बिल्कुल मुंह माया में जकड़े नहीं नहीं ये तो बहुत एक्सपेंसिव डिजाइनर नहीं नहीं ये तो उसने दिया था नहीं नहीं ये तो एनिवर्सरी का उस सबको एक बार काट के हाँ खुशी पे है ना कहीं दूर जब दिन ढल जाए सांच की दुल्हन बदन चुराए चुप कैसे आए मेरे ख्यालों के आंगन में कोई सपनों के दीप जलाए दीप जलाए कहीं दूर जब दिन ढल जाए कभी यूं ही जब हुई बोझल सासे भर आई बैठे बैठे जब यू ही आखे कभी मचल के प्यार से चल के छुए कोई मुझे पर नजर ना आए नजर ना आए कहीं आप कथक वाला आपको कीजिए कभी दिल कहीं मिल नहीं ये हमारे और आपके रिश्ते के बारे में कभी तो ये दिल कहीं मिल नहीं पाते कहीं से निकल आए जन्मों के नाते घनी थी उलझन बैरी अपना मन अपना ही होके सहे दर्द पर आए दर्द पर आए कहीं दूर जब दिन ढल जाए सांझ की दुल्हन क्या बात है आई मीन इफ दिस इज व्हाट यू हैव लर्न ऑनलाइन मुझे प्लीज इसका एड्रेस वगैरह दीजिए ताकि मैं भी ये सब पूरा और ये 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 और ये ये सब कर पाऊं इट्स फैंटास्टिक नहीं 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 ये ये तो मेरे नहीं मैं गुरुजी से बहुत रेगुलरली सीखती हूं गुरुजी से बहुत रेगुलरली सीखती हूं अभी इस वक्त क्योंकि क्लासेस नहीं हो रही हैं तो बहुत ही बड़ा सौभाग्य है कि बिरजू महाराज के जो शिष्य हैं वो मेरे गुरु हैं 
उनके बहुत सीनियर डिसाइपल हैं वो मेरे गुरु हैं वो ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ले रहे हैं तो ये बहुत ही मतलब मेरे लिए बड़ा सौभाग्य हो चुका है कि मैं उनसे ऑनलाइन सीख पा रही हूँ अदरवाइज वो डेली रहते हैं अच्छा हमारे एक दोस्त है जो काफी यंग है न्यूज कथक एक्सपोनेंट कॉल्ड संदीप महावीर और आप मैं चाहूंगा कि आप उनसे जरूर मिले ही इज सो अमेजिंग और सब उन्होंने लच्छू महाराज बिरजू महाराज वगैरह सबसे उन्होंने सीखा हुआ है एंड ही इज सो गुड ऑन स्टेज इज मैजिकल मैं मैं चाहूंगा कि आप उनसे जरूर मिले जब वक्त मिले तो हमें जिंदगी में ना ऑप्शन की बड़ी जरूरत होती है और uh, कुछ लकी लोग होते हैं जिन्हें जिंदगी में ऑप्शन मिल भी जाते हैं चूज करने के लिए दिस गेम इज कॉल्ड दिस एंड दैट तो आपसे बहुत ही uh, आपके लिए थोड़ा कस्टमाइज किया है दिस एंड दैट को आप चूज करके बताइएगा कि दिस और दैट साहिर साहब साहिर साहब पोएट और लिरिसिस्ट बहुत बहुत ज्यादा कठिन है क्योंकि इस पोएट और इस लिरिसिस्ट में कोई फर्क नहीं था जैसे फर्क था मजरू सुल्तानपुरी एक अलग किस्म के शायर थे अलग किस्म के लिरिसिस्ट थे लेकिन साहिर साहब के जो नगमे थे ना जो जो लिखे थे उन्होंने वही गानों में भी इस्तेमाल किए गए तो आई विल चूज बोथ पर आप मुझे मतलब कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता अगर मैं पोइट भी कह दू और लिरिसिस भी कह दू आई आई स्टे विदिसिस्ट क्योंकि उससे ज्यादा हमने शुरू से आइडेंटिफाई किया है फिल्मों के फिल्मों के गानों के जरिए जी ओके शेखर एज एन एक्टर और एज एन एंकर एंकर मे बी टीवी शो होस्ट मे बी टॉक शो होस्ट कुछ है एक्टर एनी डे एक्टर टॉक शो तो मैं मतलब यू नो इट्स एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ एन एक्टर सो बेसिकली दीज ऑल दीज थिंग्स एमिनेट फ्रॉम बींग एन एक्टर यू नो वो उसी का हिस्सा है लोग अलग अलग तरीके से देखते हैं बट फॉर मी बींग एन एंकर इज अ रोल विच आई प्ले एज एन एक्टर आई गोट अ क्वेश्चन यूर मूवीज एंड शेकर्स में आई डोंट नो आपने वो ऑन पर्पज किया था दे वॉज अ सेगमेंट जहां पे आप आप बहुत ही फ्लुएंटली इंग्लिश में न्यूज कुछ सरकाजम कुछ सटायर करते थे ये कुछ लाइन बोलते थे विच वॉज काइंड ऑफ अ टंग ट्विस्टर नहीं और आइडिया मैं मैं वो आखिर का जो एड्रेस है बहुत तेजी से पढ़ बोलता था बहुत तेजी से तो लोग आ कहते वो You know, I realize कि लास्ट में जो एड्रेस पढ़ना है वो इट्स सो बोरिंग आप जब वो पढ़ना शुरू करेंगे तब तक तो लोग स्विच ऑफ करके कहीं और चले गए चलो अब तो शो खत्म हो गया अभी तो एड्रेस पढ़ने वाले हमें नहीं देखना है तो मैंने कहा भाई नहीं आपको मैं नहीं जाने दूंगा आई टर्न दैट इन टू अ गिमिक तो मैं उसको पहले तो मैं उसको अलग अलग पर्सनालिटीज की तरह पढ़ता था कभी राजेश खन्ना की तरह कभी दिलीप कुमार की तरह कभी बच्चन साहब की तरह ऐसा पढ़ना शुरू किया फिर उसको मैंने एकदम लाइटनिंग स्पीड से पढ़ना शुरू किया वो लोगों को बहुत कि एक सांस लेता था मैं सारा पढ़ जाता था यू नो अब तो वो मुझे वो याद नहीं मैं क्या बोलता था बट इट वॉज समथिंग एज फास्ट एज लाइक इफ टू टूट एंड वी टॉट बाई हॉट एंड टॉट टूटर गेट हॉट इफ दॉट एंड टूट एंड हुट एंड टॉट ट्यूटर समथिंग लाइक दैट वो वो लोगों को बहुत पसंद आता तो मुझसे आके पूछते थे कि आप इतना फास्ट कैसे बोलते हैं अब कैसे बोलते हैं तो मुझे भी नहीं बात सरस्वती की कृपा है सरस्वती की तो आपकी बहुत कृपा है गुलजार साहब गुलजार साहब वंस अगेन एज अ लिरिसिस्ट और एज अ डायरेक्टर एज अ लिरिसिस्ट एज अ लिरिस्ट एज अच्छा रेखा जी रेखा जी उत्सव या संसार उत्सव एनी डे एनी डे पर यहां में तो मतलब या तो शायद उत्सव मैं समझ नहीं पाती हूं इतने अच्छे से इसलिए बट संसार इज क्वाइट रिलेटेबल सो दैट्स वाई देव साहब मैं देव साहब का दिस एंड दैट नहीं कर पाई देव साहब का देव साहब का यू नो आई थिंक देव साहब एज अ प्रोड्यूसर और एज अ डिरेक्टर एज एज अ चार्मर और एज एन एक्टर एज अ लवर और एज एन एक्टर और वट पर उनका ये चाम जो था कि जॉनी मेरे नाम में आई स्टिल रिमेंबर ही ओपन द डोर एंड इट जब दरवाजा खुला तो मैं दंग रह गया तो हसीन आंखें मेरी तरफ घूर घूर के देख रही थी और दिल धड़क धड़क के कह रहा था कि जॉनी बेट है तेरी मंजिल यहीं पर है लेकिन याद रख अगर इन्हें मालूम हो गया कि तू तो चोर है वो चक्का है छोटी मोटी चोरी कर दाम में बार बार जेल जा चुका है तेरी हसीन आंखों में तेरे लिए सिवाय नफरत के और कुछ नहीं रहे सो दैट वॉज दे लेकिन यू you नो know, उनका वो इनबिल्ड चार्म था लोगों ने उसको बहुत ज्यादा कैरिकेचर किया बट ट्राई एंड डू दैट इन मूवीज एंड ट्राई एंड डू लाइक दिस यू लुक लाइक अ फूल 
Ooh, you look yeah. like a kid, but that man looked so nice because you could carry it cinematically. You know, whatever he did and all that, and वो बहुत amazing था. बल्कि शमी कपूर ने भी जो ये 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 इस सब किया. अगर हम आप करें तो बेवकूफ देखेंगे स्क्रीन पे. लेकिन ये इन लोगों का इन लोगों की हुनर थी इनमें इतनी ज़्यादा या इन बिल्ड करिश्मा या 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 हुत्स्पा था जो you know it you know these people could carry that. So I think Dev Sahab was an all rounder. I think as a producer, as a director, got the opportunity to interview him, and then I said, "Ki Dev Sahab, we have heard a lot of things about you, and one of them is that you have to wear a black suit because girls were giving you a hard time. They said, 'Sir, all the things are true. You are handsome. You are so 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 I tell you a very funny incident. Once, like we got around talking, and he really liked me. So, yada kada wo mujhe phone karte rehte. So, ek baar main drawing room mein baitha tha, aur 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 servant dikh gaya, aur usne phone ring hua, usne uthaya phone, aur fir usne card diya. Fir phone ring hua, fir usne uthaya, fir card diya. Fir usne ring hui, fir uthaya, card diya. Fir main doorte hui andar hai. Maine kaha ki iska phone toh un card hai. Kehta hai koi hai jo Devanand ki aavaz nikal raha. Maine kaha gadhe ke bache wo Devanand hi hai. उनको फोन करके कहा सॉरी हेलो कैन आई स्पीक टू शेख कोई समडीज लेंगे प्रैंक उसने कहा वी वी कैन हैव अ हाई फाइव ऑन दिस आस्क वाइफ एब्सोल्युटली बिकॉज जब मैंने देवानंद साहब को इंटरव्यू किया इट वाज एन इंटरव्यू इन द कार एंड वी वर ड्राइविंग फॉर अबाउट एन आवर दैट वाज माय लाइक फर्स्ट Like very initial stage interview, and uh, I mean, they saw how to interview Karna, and uh-huh. he, he he ironically he liked me, and he gave me his personal number. He said, "Call me whenever you want." Fantastic. <laughs> you know what? But charm, charm, or basically, but, but, but um, मुझ में आपके जितना confidence था नहीं, तो मुझे लगा कि ये मेरे साथ तो कुछ मजाक हुआ है. तो मैंने किसी के साथ टेस्ट किया मैंने कहा मैं टेस्ट करके देखती हूँ सच में देव साहब ने अपना नंबर दिया है कि नहीं दिया है एंड आई स्टिल रिमेम्बर ही सेड दैट द नंबर आई एम गिविंग यू द लैंडलाइन नंबर आई एम गिविंग यू ये मेरे बेड साइड टेबल के पास रहता है ये टेलीफोन ही एक्चुअली पिक्स दैट फोन एंड एट दैट टाइम आई यूज टू गो बाय द नेम ऑफ तानिया हाई तानिया है तानिया है और उस वक्त तानिया दीज आर द मोमेंट्स इफ यू कैन कॉल यू तानिया दीज आर द मोमेंट्स व्हिच यू चेरिश आई रिमेंबर मीटिंग दिलीप साहब जिनका मैं सबसे बड़ा फैन मतलब उनसे बड़ा मैं किसी एक्टर को मानता ही नहीं है और आई गॉट द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मीट हिम एंड 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 सायरा जी वाज देयर एंड वी गॉट अराउंड टॉकिंग तो बीच में मैं बोलता गया बोलता गया तो तो अचानक उन्होंने सायरा की तरफ देखा और बोला सायरा ये लड़का कितना बोलता है ये ये तो बहुत बातें करता है ये तो बोलता ही जाता है तो फिर फिर बात हम करते गए तो उठने लगे वो तो मैंने कहा नहीं नहीं मैं आपको नहीं जान, जाने दूंगा कि बिल अभी भरा नहीं कहीं अभी तो आप मिले हैं आपको तो सारा दिन बैठ के मैं बात करने वाला फिर उन्होंने साथ ये तो बड़ा जिद्दी लड़का है भाई ये तो मुझे जान ही नहीं दे रहा है भाई मुझे तो जाना है आई रिमेम्बर दो मोमेंट्स आई मीन यू नो देर साहब दिलीप कुमार राज कपूर जी आई जस्ट मेट यू वॉन्स उन्होंने उत्सव के प्रेमियर पे मेरे आके बैठ गए बगल में और मेरे कंधे पे हाथ रखा और बोले चारू दत्त का रोल मैंने भी निभाया था जी वो पृथ्वी थिएटर में एक प्ले किया अब मैं मुझे उनकी बातें तो सुनाई दे नहीं रही थी ना मुझे उसे मतलब था मैं सिर्फ ये देख रहा था कि राज कपूर जी ने अपना हाथ जो मेरे कंधे पे रखा हुआ है <laughs> मतलब ही वॉज लाइक माई फादर जीरो और हम लोग मेरे और घूमना प्रिस्टिंग टू हिस्स स्टोरीज एंड Watching his movies, मेरे लिए एक बहुत बड़ा ख्वाब था Even working with Rekha, for that matter, working with all these greats. तो अभी भी I think और वो सारे actors के साथ हैं. ये जो greats हो गए ना, उनकी बराबरी की ही नहीं जा सकती. They had a certain charisma which is unmatched. आज भी आप अरुण से पूछ लें या किसी और से पूछ लें actors. अब भी आप दिलीप धर्मेंद्र से धर्मेंद्र जी से अगर आप पूछ ले तो अब भी दिलीप साहब वगैरह जब सामने खड़े होते हैं अब तो वही बचे हैं 
तो विश्वास नहीं होता है कि आप दिलीप साहब के आगे खड़े हैं जिन्होंने गंगा चंदा जिन्होंने देवदास जिन्होंने मधुमति जिन्होंने राम और श्याम आजाद फुटपाथ और आप उनको देख रहे हैं तो ये हम और आप जैसे लोग एज एन एक्टर ये हम लोगों का एक खास प्रिविलेज है कि हम लोगों को ये मौका मिला है कि हम लोग इनसे बात कर सके इनको छू सके इनको महसूस कर सके यू आर लकी आई एम लकी before we move on uh, i mean i was just so engrossed in the conversation uh, this is once again you're watching 100 hours uh, 100 stars and we have the privilege to have uh, shikhar suman with us and there is a qr scan code right there on your screen aap sabhi se main ye request karna chahungi ki pm relief care fund mein प्लीज डोनेट कीजिए जितना भी आप कर सकते हैं एक छोटी सी कोशिश जरूर से कीजिए इसीलिए हमने आपके लिए कि एक क्यू आर स्कैन कोड राइट देयर ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड लेट्स गेट बैक टू द कॉन्वर्जेशन एंड वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट मैंने एक चीज नोटिस की कि आपकी जिंदगी में जितना भी सिलसिला रहा है लोगों से मिलने का कनेक्शन का नेटवर्क का टाइमिंग काफी अच्छी रही है आपकी ये आपके या तो मतलब अच्छे कर्म है या फिर साथ में लक है या पूरा कंप्लीट कॉम्बिनेशन है बिफोर वी टॉक अबाउट दैट आई वांट यू टू सिंग अ सॉन्ग सिलसिला को लेकर सिलसिला शब्द सिलसिला मूवी से सिलसिला से सिलसिला का कौन सा गाना है मैं आपको कभी कभी से गाना सुना देता हूँ पल दो ठीक है बहुत पसंद है ना और मैं पल दो पल का शायर हूँ पल दो पल मेरी कहानी है पल दो पल मेरी हस्ती है पल दो पल मेरी जवानी है मैं पल दो पल का शायर हूँ मुझसे पहले कितने शायर आए और आकर चले गए कुछ आहे भर के चले गए कुछ नग में गा कर चले गए वो भी एक पल का किस्सा थे मैं भी एक पल का किस्सा हूँ कल तुमसे जुदा हो जाऊंगा वो आज तुम्हारा हिस्सा हूँ मैं पल दो पल का शायर कल और आएंगे नगमों की खिलती कलिया चुनने वाले मुझसे बेहतर कहने वाले तुमसे बेहतर सुनने वाले को कल कोई मुझको याद करे क्यों कोई मुझको याद करे मसरू जमाना मेरे लिए क्यों वक्त अपना बर्बाद करे मैं पल दो पल का शायर हूँ पल दो पल मेरी कहानी है आगे आप आइए पल दो पल मेरी हस्ती है पल दो पल दो पल मेरी जवानी है आपकी जवानी बहुत बाकी है आप ये गाना ना गाए <laughs> ये तो आप मेरे दुखते हुए घुटनों से पूछिए जो दस मिनट किचन में खड़े हो जाते हैं तो उसके बाद जवाब दे जाते हैं <laughs> वो तो थैंक गॉड कि मेरा रियाज साथ में रहता है तो मुझे लगता है कि कुछ कुछ साल और मैं एक्सटेंड कर सकती हूँ शेखर साहब बातें करते करते वक्त का बिल्कुल पता ही नहीं लगा मतलब आ, मैं मैंने जब टाइमिंग की तरफ देखा तो मैं मैंने ये सोचा कि इतनी सारी बातें हो गई और वक्त भी इतना सारा निकल गया आ, लॉकडाउन के इस 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 करंट सिनारियों में कोई खास बात जो आपके जहन में हो जो आपको लगे कि आप शेयर करना चाहते हैं खास बात यह है कि जो बड़ी सिंपल सी बात है जान है तो जहान है बहुत सीधी सी बात है हम लोग हर चीज के लिए इतना क्रिप करते हैं ये नहीं वो नहीं गाड़ी नहीं बंगला नहीं आईलैंड नहीं जेट नहीं यॉट नहीं कुछ सब बेमानी वो मैं मुझे फिल्म फेयर नहीं मिला मुझे नेशनल अवार्ड नहीं मिला मुझे ऑस्कर की तमन्ना है मुझे ये चाहिए वो चाहिए चांद चाहिए ये एक छोटा सा वायरस आता है और सबको बराबर कर देता है चाहे वो अंबानी हो चाहे वो अवस्थी हो चाहे वो शर्मा हो या श्रीवास्तव हो बच्चन हो या सुमन हो सब बराबर हो जाते हैं या या आप हम सब एक इसीलिए 
एक समतल पे रहना एक धरातल पे रहना सब बराबर है सब समान है ये आ, सब समान है ये थॉट जो है ये बहुत जरूरी इसलिए है कि कहीं ना कहीं हम लोग जिंदगी कि दौड़ में अपने आप को गुरूर और घमंड की वजह से दूसरों से अपने आप को सुपीरियर समझने लगते हैं कि मुझ में ये गुण है तुम मैंने मैं जो कर सकता हूं तुमने उसका कोई मायने नहीं आई थिंक भगवान ने ईश्वर ने सबको बराबर का टैलेंट दिया है किसी को किसी चीज में किसी को किसी चीज में मेरे बाबू हमेशा कहा करते थे दैट एवरी सिंगल पर्सन दैट यू मीट इन योर लाइफ इज फार मोर टैलेंट इन यू देन यू That that you can ever imagine. तो हम जब मिलते हैं किसी से हमें लगता है कि हम नहीं है क्योंकि वो किसी न किसी मायने में आपसे ज्यादा टैलेंटेड है इसलिए सब बराबर है और यही एक थॉट मेरे दिमाग में आया है कि हम अब सब घर में हैं तो ना दौलत काम में आ रही है ना गाड़ियां काम में आ रही है ना बैंक बैलेंस काम में आ रहा है ना आपके एफ डी काम में आ रहे हैं कुछ नहीं ना आपकी शोहरत ना आपके पुरस्कार कुछ नहीं काम में क्या आ रहा है आपके लोग जो आपके इर्द गिर्द हैं आपके अपने चाहने वाले जो इर्द गिर्द हैं इसलिए रिश्तों की बहुत अहमियत ये बात सब लोग ध्यान से समझ लें कि रिश्ते रिश्तों से बढ़कर दुनिया में कोई चीज नहीं यही वो रिश्ते हैं जो दुख और सुख में आपका साथ देंगे दुनिया साथ नहीं देने वाली मैंने कल भी कहा था फिर कह रहा हूं कि जला दो इसे फूक डालो ये दुनिया सामने से हटा लो ये दुनिया तुम्हारी है तुम ही संभालो ये दुनिया ये दुनिया अगर मिल भी जाए तो क्या है ये दुनिया आपके लिए नहीं है आपको सिर्फ और सिर्फ अपनों का ख्याल रखना है जो ख्याल वो आपका रखते हैं और यही जिंदगी का दूसरा बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपका समय देने के लिए आपसे बातें करके हमेशा ही बहुत अच्छा लगता है वक्त का बिल्कुल पता नहीं लगता है एंड बस मुझे लगता है दुनिया का सबसे सिंपल शब्द होता है थैंक यू शुक्रिया अगर वो दिल से आता है तो दिल तक पहुंचता है दिल तक पहुंचता है अब तो अच्छी बात यह है कि जब आप वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग कर रहे हैं तो शायद शब्दों में अल्फाजों में भी उसे बोलने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि वो थैंक यू वो धन्यवाद वो शुक्रिया आपकी आंखों से झलक रहा है और मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि वही झलक मेरी आंखों में भी होगी सो थैंक यू सो मच आकांक्षा तान्या द ब्यूटिफुल होस्ट आरजे जो भी आपको बुलाऊं कम है यू डूइंग अ वंडरफुल जॉब अपना ख्याल रखिएगा अपने परिवार का अपने दोस्तों का अपने बच्चों का जो है आपके इर्द गिर्द जो आपके चाहने वाले उनका ख्याल रखिएगा और उम्मीद करते हैं कि जब भी ये लॉकडाउन टूटेगा तो हमारी अगर खुशकिस्मती होगी तो कभी हम आपके स्टूडियो आएंगे और आपसे जरूर मिलेंगे absolutely absolutely really looking forward to meet you in person and and have a conversation of a lifetime in which i can explore myself thank, thank you thank you so much thank you so much thank you bye bye मैं सिर्फ ये जाने को ये कहना चाहता न जा कहीं अब न जा दिल के है ये ही दिल कुचा मेरा है मेरे हम दम मेरे दोस्त न जा कहीं अब न जा बाय बाय ठीक है प्यारे बंधुओं संगीत प्रेमियों नमस्कार मैं हूं आरजे अरविंद फ्रॉम 94.3 एफएम रेडियो वन कोलकाता उम्मीद नहीं 100 परसेंट श्योर हूं कि आप एंजॉय कर रहे हैं 100 आवर्स 100 स्टार्स अ ट्रिब्यूट टू कोविड वॉरियर्स लाइक करें कमेंट करें शेयर करें और जब इतना कुछ कर रहे हो डालें तो सब्सक्राइब भी कर दो